God loves us as we are, but He loves us too much to let us stay as we are. Some people ask, does God really love us? And if He loves us, then why does He impose so many rules and regulations? Why does He demand obedience? Why doesn't He love us as we are? The answer is that God certainly loves us as we are. Love has two aspects to it. Acceptance of the object of love and aspiration for the object of love. Consider parents. They naturally love their children. And some children might have some deficiencies behaviorally, intellectually, emotionally, relationally, whatever. The parents accept their children and love them. At the same time, the parents' love also expresses itself in another way. It is wanting a bright, brighter, better future for their children. So that require that love impels them to impose certain discipline on the children. Don't just keep playing all the time. Even if studying is difficult, to do it. Do it according to your capacity, but do it to the best of your capacity. So, parents love their children too much to let them stay as they are. That means if children are just simply playful, whimsical, restless, irresponsible, then they can't have a bright future. And one aspect of the love of the parents is to impose discipline that helps the children to become better. And the same principle applies to our relationship with God. He loves us as we are. This is evident in the fact that he has provided all of us the basic necessities and utilities for existence. He, air, water, heat, light, these are provided to everyone irrespective of whether they are devoted to him or not, whether they are obeying his rules or not. Simultaneously, God is also present in the heart of everyone as the indwelling super soul. In the Bhagavad Gita 1861, it is stated, Brahmin Sarvabhutani Yantra Rudhani Mayaya Ishvara Sarvabhutana The Lord of all living beings stays in the is stays in the heart of all living beings and guides or directs their wanderings through material existence. So the very fact that He is in our heart and He is guiding our wanderings means that He loves us as we are. He is not forcing us to come to Him. Wherever we go, He goes with us. So He accepts us as we are. Simultaneously, He wants the best for us. And what is best for us is our spiritual evolution. The raising of our consciousness from the world, from the worldly level, material level to the spiritual, eternal level. For us to be able to find happiness in the things that last. And, and the one thing that lasts forever is spiritual love, love for Him. And therefore, He urges us to follow the process that will help us attain that love. And as the next verse states, Tame Vasharanam Gacha Sarvabhavena Bharata. Tat prasadat param shantim 
स्थानम प्राप्तसि शाश्वतम यू श्योर दैट दैट इफ वी सरेंडर टू हिम इन द हार्ट तमेव शरणम गच्छ एंड नॉट रिजेंटफुली नॉट हाफ हार्टेडली बट होल हार्टेडली सर्व भावेन भारत देन द प्रसादात बाय हिज मर्सी पराम शांतिम वी कैन अटेन द सुप्रीम पीस स्थानम प्राप्तसि शाश्वतम वी कैन आल्सो अटेन द सुप्रीम डेस्टिनेशन प्राप्तसि शाश्वतम विद अस गॉड लव्स अस टू मच टू लेट अस स्टे एज वी आर एंड दैट्स व्हाई ही गिव्स अस गाइडलाइंस ही गिव्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ भक्ति योगा व्हिच इन्वॉल्व्स प्रिस्क्रिप्शंस एंड प्रोस्क्रिप्शंस which are all meant to further our spiritual evolution and to help us create the brightest possible future for ourselves thank you